Hello and welcome to this look at the MB Track 8 and 900 series tractors out of the FS19 mod contest. So we've had the bigger ones around for a little while, but now we've got the babies of the range here. Looking at the number plate, we can presume there's something to do with forbidden mods. Just a hunch. So we've got the 800, or two 800s of varying ages, there's two age options here, one with front linkage, one with just the carrier on it. A standard, we've got the older 900 with the white carrier fitted. The newer 900 here with whites as well, and obviously that one's got a load of brackets on it. Then we've got the 900 intercooler on the end here. And these things are packed with features. So we might as well have a look around this one, this end is the most accessible. Some really decent looking lights and textures on these. Lots of tar options. Well, lots of trelly bog options anyway, we've just got Mitas in the um, one size. All the new textures and everything on them. Nice and shiny in a few places. Now I've noticed we had the power hour over there beside us, well we're going to make use of that the intercooled one and you may notice in the cabs that there are some control panels appearing as we go down them which we'll go through so MB tracks always seem to do quite well when they come into game these have got custom sounds on them as well lovely clear decals on the back of them there nothing's at all sort of um, fuzzy it can all be red new ones going that decal on the right hand side and an external hitch control or better external hitch control we should say there as this one on this end we'll be having a proper look through though plus this one in the middle here I'll explain why in a moment so we'll get into this one Or well, maybe we'll get into that one. Let's try that again. I want this one. There we go. So we have a sprayer controller in here. Plugged in. Right control everything up there. Which is a nice little feature to have. Now, this has got opening front and rear window options. And I'm going to have to get the track out a bit so we can see this to its full detail. So I've not got a very big turning circle on, but I've got good brakes as you can see there. Right. So let's just run through the lights on here. Headlights, side lights. Rear work light, uh, front work lights, rear work lights. Everything working as it should do. Now, <clears throat> turn that off for a minute. Let's get this back up. And you see we've got lots of um, controls coming up in there. Left control, K and M. Well, K opens the roof hatch and M closes it. Left shift, left control, K opens the back window, and close it on the um, <clears throat> standard one without the hinged window, it slides it backwards and forwards, so it still opens it, and J and N opens the left hand door. Left shift, J and N. I can remember which one it does. Let's go left, shift, K and M. Might not actually. There we go. Left, shift, K and M. Open the front window. And J and N does that. So 
we've got lots of little features on here have having to use it this way because I've um, altered all my controls one of these does do this side window just shut that roof hatch again let's just remember which one it was what does it seem to do different features on different ones and there's one for each side window one for the front one for the back one for the door one for the roof hatch so you've got quite a selection in there of opening features it's because I took all the crane arm controls off my mouse because that's causing a few conflicts otherwise you should be able to use the mouse to do that I believe Let's see if we've got dynamic hose capability on here. So looks like we have got functioning pedals and gear stick again. But no gear sounds. So these things have got the turning circle of a super tanker. Is connected up as they should be around the back there. Some of the problems there. So as you see, this one here has the rear sliding window and no opening front window. This one here has a loader controller there. And the Silo King control panel for feeder wagon. So you've got a choice there for that one as well. So another little option. Then we have the MB900 intercooler on the end here. Now this one we're going to test out because it's obviously got the most horsepower. Got the Solar King controller in there. To this. It's also one with front weights on. It's a good load for that, even with the front weights on. You see, that's uh, almost pointing skywards at the front there. Forty three K forward speed. Pitch works as should. See any issues there. Floats up and down. I do think silly will lift the back of the tractor off the ground when you've done that. Doesn't stretch out place and leave gaps anywhere. The wheels are all attached properly so there's no gaps in there. You know, that's been a problem with some of the mods we've looked at recently. So as this is a contest mod, it is on PC only. can look in the shop at these now and see what we've got so they are under small tractors so they're here starting at £30,000 we have a selection of colour choices on the rims standard municipal black family green
grey white so it's full a range or full assortment of colours there we could go bronze there municipal family green and yes these are genuine colours for those that aren't aware the whitey grey colour MOD green it says orange that's standard used <coughs> but about standard design colour go darker green grey there orange standard green used so you've got a selection in there for everything tyre wise we've got trolley bog standards which we didn't have one on care tyres are one and a half metre track width so potato spacing one and a half and three bit of a funny beast, beast on them one for sugar beet standard narrow tyres spraying width <clears throat> quite a common sight especially on the thousand series around this way when they're about and wide tyres from Trelleborg with two different options there so that one is 540 540 28 and 540 26 we have slightly taller wide ones there and back to standard Mitas you got a choice of wide wide or wide no other options and back to Trelleborg front attachments front weight holder 45, 135, 225 and 315 kilos front hydraulics which the lift arms will spawn when we go to pick a weight up or back to standard decals standard whatever that one is municipal and used up the top there Premi editions so that changes those colours on the back there. Back to standard. Roof decals, yes or new. No. GPS will ignore because that's a mod. It's got the 800, 1982 to 87. This is the order they're spaced in at the shop. Same one, 87 to 91. Then got the the 982 to 87 and 87 to 91 87 to 91 boosted so 115 or 87 to 91 boosted with the 900 125 or the 900 intercooler 135 horsepower loads of attached here yes or no terminals no line keeping system which um, it's obviously GPS in the front corner there of some description. See there, so standard um, wheel track guidance as opposed to integrated GPS. Spray controller there. Silo King controller or nothing. Folding front window, folding back window both folding windows or none so there's a lot of options in this tractor some really nice little tractors here and a good complement to the existing big MBs we have as a mod in game already but that's where we're going to leave this video so for now I'll say I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time goodbye for now